Hello, it's David. I'm back again, and uh, today I've got a, a um, biofilter set up that I'm going to show you guys how I convert a, an anaerobic leachate into a clear plant ready uh, liquid fertilizer. And that happens right here. Okay, so this is a three level biofilter. Um, it has a, uh, a filter aggregate uh, floating in there. Uh, I've got a standpipe here that I use to tap that liquid out of there without having to open this whole system. I never open this NutriCycler. I only open it in order to check the quality of the liquid fertilizer and to check um, and to top it off if I want to add more. So, um, but I can, I can keep this biofilter pretty much clean or at least uh, not overloaded with biofilm uh, and detritus that's broken down that tends to clog up biofilters if you use them in different ways uh, just by tapping the liquid off the bottom and I do that with a standpipe which I'm going to tilt and I let it spill into a bucket depending on the level that's in this white tank I can go a little bit lower And so that's the liquid fertilizer that I'm going to use. And it's pretty much odorless today, um, as I've been running it through this vortex. And the vortex is uh, basically spinning it, adding air. I could add more air if I put a different nozzle on the end of that, so it had a tighter, uh, higher velocity force coming out of it. Um, but nonetheless, we're getting aeration, mixing, and a vortex activity in this uh, liquid fertilizer. It spills into here, um, which uh, there's a standpipe in there so that the liquid can overflow um, into this tank down here, which is where I keep my biofilter and where I tap the liquid with this standpipe. This is what the liquid looks like when I put it in. Um, I'll pour this uh, directly out of here and into the top where the vortex is. And then the um, and then that aromatic aero, anaerobic uh, liquid fertilizer, which is a really nice extraction of aggregate um, that I have in I have in this bucket right here. Essentially alfalfa pellets, and so I soak them in here in my little digester buckets. I got these around here. And then I pour off the liquid and through a, a filtration bucket. I don't, this is yeah, right here, that's my little filtration bucket. I just put straw in the bottom, got holes cut in there, uh, holes drilled into the bottom, and then I set it on top of another bucket so it drains into there. And after all the sort of the solids and everything that's come out of that uh, liquid kind of filters through the straw. Uh, then I'll pour the liquid, which is really ready to use directly, just like that, in the vortex um, and the, the just complete little biofilter. So why is this important? Well, uh, biofiltration is is essentially what you need in order to grow plants in a like, for instance, this system. This is my little. This is my little um, uh, aggregate bed with a tank and just set this up recently you got a nice little deal going here um, but in order to put the the uh, liquid fertilizer in here you don't want too many organics because that'll cause the roots to get uh, overwhelmed with biofilm um, and and the rocks will get overwhelmed with biofilm and then you end up getting anaerobic zones and your roots don't um, thrive so uh, biofiltration is important in aggregate beds. It's also important in, uh, in your soilless beds, even more so because the bacteria and the biofilms will just colonize on the roots immediately and you'll have to kind of rinse them or kind of splash it off regularly if you don't want, if you want them to be able to absorb uh, nutrients in that solution. So biofilm usually just makes the roots develop anaerobic um, uh, setting uh, system set up basically your environment and then they die so here we do the biofiltration uh, 
pretty biofilter, the anaerobic liquid fertilizer, and um, and then it's it's ideal for the setting. Also, you know, if you're if you're raising fish, as I do in these, because you never really want to mess with mosquitoes. Um, they can't tolerate too much of the carbon if and that would come directly out of an anaerobic extraction process. Um, that's because the bacteria in a in a tank will start proliferating and they'll consume all the oxygen in the carbon. Now, they'll consume all the oxygen in the water as they're consuming the carbon and multiplying. So that would have to be, you know, heavily aerated uh, if you're going to use carbon in your system um, in order to protect the fish so that they don't have to compete for that oxygen. So best to use, you know, biofiltration if you're doing fish or aggregate beds or deep water beds. So that's it. If you guys have any questions, uh, share them in the comments below and send me a, put a message in there if you want, if you need more information or what kind of topic you'd like me to discuss in the next video. Thanks for watching.